Today we're making the cutest Korean lunchbox cakes, completely no bake. I thought it'd be really cool to make these in a pinch, that way you can really make these last minute, bring these to school to celebrate your birthday with your friends, moms out there, you gotta make these for your kid's school birthday. Or make these for your coworkers. I mean, who wouldn't want to receive these? They're so stinking cute, and most importantly, delicious. It all starts out with whipped cream. So yes, it is truly a minute recipe, cause once you've made that, you're, you're done. You're basically done. You just gotta assemble your cake. To the cold heavy cream, you want to add vanilla and sugar and you're going to whip this up. Easy peasy. You can also do different flavors or even use Cool Whip if you prefer. Once your cream has whipped up, you're going to add a thin layer of cream to the bottom of your container. I like to put mine in a piping bag. It's just faster and easier, but you can also just spread this out with a spoon. You'll need some lady fingers. You can find these just about anywhere. Any brand is fine as long as they're the classic vanilla lady fingers. Now we're going to make a milk bath for the cookies. It's just milk and vanilla. You gotta flavor that milk. Not many people know this, but ladyfingers are in fact just dry sponge cake. And when it's rehydrated, it becomes cake again. I learned this way back in pastry school. The recipe we would use for sponge cake was the exact same recipe we would use to make ladyfingers. If you look at the back of your packaging, it's basically the same recipe. I wanted to share that not many people know this. Ladyfinger cookies are in fact cake dry cake. You want to take each cake, each cookie, and dip it into the milk. Make sure they're fully submerged in the milk and you want to leave it there just for about two, three seconds and build your cake. But we're going to keep the first lunchbox cake really simple. We're going to make a classic vanilla birthday cake, but we'll talk about different flavors in a second. In the meantime, you can subscribe, click that bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you're liking it. You want to cover the cookies with a layer of cream, smooth it out, and pop this in the fridge. For the other two lunchbox cakes, we're going to make two different flavors, strawberry and blueberry. So I'm going to dye the, you know, the cream blue and pink, um, you know, to make blueberry and strawberry cake. Pop the creams in a piping bag and add a layer of cream to the bottom of your containers. You're going to add some fresh blueberries and fresh strawberries cut into little pieces. You can also do, you know, a drizzle of strawberry or blueberry jam if you want a stronger fruit flavor. These are just some ideas. You know the drill by now. You're going to take the cookies, soak them in the milk, and top everything off with more cream. Now these do have to go in the fridge for at least three hours. The cookies are going to absorb the milk, soften up, and the flavors will, you know, just really mingle together. Even better if you make these the day before or make these in the morning. Maybe it's your friend's birthday and you need a last minute gift. And I have to say, this is the cutest last minute gift. Not only only are you putting thought into it, but they're so stinking cute. There's really no right way to decorate these. I had so much fun doing this. I'm just using loosened buttercream to do the writing. And by the way, no, you cannot use buttercream for the entire cake. You have to use fresh whipped cream or the cookies will not soften. You got to remember buttercream goes hard as a brick in the fridge, whereas whipped cream remains soft and creamy. The strawberry one has to be my favorite. It's like a fluffy and creamy strawberry shortcake. But all of these these are amazing. They're soft and creamy. Go make these. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your no-bake lunchbox cakes. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.